Okay, we are live. Now, are we live or is it just saying that we're live? Let's have a look. Yep, we're live. <laughs> Stream health, good. Yay! Good morning and welcome to Monday Live Chat. Could you type 111 if you can hear me? Now, um, I'm just going to do a quick screen share of the live chat page um, so we can... <laughs> kissy kissy <laughs> sorry it's been a stressful week well last week was a stressful week this week's going to be absolute breeze it's going to be so good um so good so i'm taking lessons from president so <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be the best it's gonna be the best <laughs> week ever <laughs> anyhow i hope you're all awake more awake than me I've been up since four o'clock. I might be having a little nap later. <laughs> and um, yeah, Monday live chat. Of course, we have a little look at live chat first. And um, the announcement I wanted to make on Friday when it all went so terribly wrong was to watch out for, let me have a look. Let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Oh, lots of people on live chat. Yay. And uh, yeah, that's where we got up to when it all went terribly wrong. So on the Learn English website, that's the one with all the grammar and vocabulary pages and the tests and games, you should now see this little secure padlock. Okay, we've gone to this HTTPS which means it uses a secure socket layer. Don't worry about it. I don't. But anyhow, we've been moving towards that. Um, and as you know, that meant live chat didn't really run very well last week. But it seems to be up and running again now. And thanks to Zom. Thank you so much, Zom, for all your um, patience. I don't think I have to be proud of myself, no. I'd be proud of myself if I'd managed to do it without breaking everything, April. Um, I need to kick myself. But... We did it. We did it with a little bit of help from my friends. <laughs> so um, the last week's conversations or the week before last conversations seem to have just disappeared or maybe people just couldn't get onto the page. Uh, but this week we've been um, having some nice chats and uh, Amatsu has been there as well. Um, I mentioned you, April, you might not have seen it, but I, and there was lots of posts from me saying about how I'd broken everything. So <laughs> I've been using live chat as sort of personal therapy. <laughs> uh, anyhow, let's say hi to Razvan and Thomas. So Razvan and Thomas, just a quick, if you're watching this, um, just a quick hint, click on reply. When you're on the live chat page, and you start um, a, a thread or a conversation, just keep it going by clicking on reply, okay? And uh, I hope you had a wonderful weekend to Thomas. Wonderful with an O and one L, by the way. Um, okay, so then, um, yeah, as you can see, Thomas's thread got very disjointed. But uh, I did say, say, try using the reply button. <laughs> and we learned about Zom's um, texting habits uh, after breakfast, after lunch, and sometimes in the evening. <laughs> so we can always, if you find Zom online, you can always say, what did you have for lunch? What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> Hi, Marco. Nice to see you. Um, then a couple of people have come on and asked questions. Uh, it's not the best place to ask questions, but Zom's been really kind and tried to help out, which is great. So when Zom does, I kind of jump in. Okay. But, oh, and look, I make mistakes too. Can you see that? I wanted to highlight this for X Maple. <laughs> Nobody told me off. Come on, guys, get your revenge. Now, the nice thing about on um, live chat, you can edit your posts at any time. OK, um, then one, H1 came along and again asked about a sentence. 
it's still better to post on the forum, but really, if you're not a forum kind of person, we will try and help, but it might take a long, a bit longer than on the forum. On the forum, we've got myself and Gemma and Frank and Matsu all helping out. They don't all come to live chat. Okay. Live chat's meant to be a little bit sort of, hello, hi, hello, hi. <laughs> Um, now, this person came along, don't know who you are, but came in, typed hi, got replies, removed his account, <laughs> deleted his comment, actually, um, which I'm like, why would you do that? But they, that's what they did. Anyhow, they now, if you see guest, you can't actually guest post on live chat. You do have to have a discuss account. That's to keep out the spammers, fishers, etc. Um, so if you see this guest thing, it does mean somebody's trying to delete their comment. I will pull them back, especially if you've had replies, because there's nothing work, nothing worse than having a thread where you, you've got people saying hello or answering a question and it says, this comment was deleted. Because it makes you think, oh, why was it deleted? Who deleted it? Uh, so it will always come back as, unless I've deleted it, it will come back as guest. And then Ahmed came along, said, hi, everyone. I'd like to practice my English by chatting with someone. Yeah, that's the way to do it. But if you want to chat with someone, you will have to reply. <laughs> Anyhow, it's good to know that Zom had a nice weekend. Uh, the weather was kind, you see. I sent you the sunshine. It worked. <laughs> Just ask. If you want my sunshine, I'll send it anytime. Um, and I did post another couple of um, therapy posts. Um, the recommended points. When we upgraded to HTTPS, the little posts, the points for the... Um, discuss. And look, we've got 29,584 comments plus the ones I lost um, and only five recommendations. It's so sad. But Zong quite rightly said, does it matter? And no, it doesn't matter. But it's kind of um, notification of, oh, somebody actually liked it. Somebody found it useful. <laughs> so, um, but no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, equate it to my heartbeat. I'm far more, mo far more worried about my heartbeat, Zong. <laughs> Anyhow, then Little came along um, and Little said, I'm here to, uh, someone told me to come on this site to help me in English. So capital E for English, Little. There you are if you're watching this. And um, she doesn't know what to say or he, I don't know. I think could be either, couldn't it? Doesn't matter. Um, and again, French, capital F. Okay. And uh, Little and Zom had a nice... Um, conversation and uh, Little wrote, maybe you'll think I'm a big psychopath, but I, I'm here for 20 minutes, but I was afraid. That's not being a psychopath, okay? <laughs> a psychopath wouldn't be afraid. <laughs> Don't worry, you're fine. In fact, if you even worried you might be a psychopath, you're not a psychopath, okay? <laughs> and some kindly posted, Monday today in, in about one and a half hours at 9 a.m. Berlin time, we'll start the live chat session with your teacher. To join the register button is a bit further up this web page. If you want to know where that is, it's here. You can always register for live chat there, okay? So um, that was this week on live chat. And thank you again to Zom for looking after everybody. Someone who, yeah, well, <laughs> that's always the case, isn't it? Okay. Any award if I tell you the typo? Shiny. You do get the observation badge if you find typos in the forum, um, mine or any other moderators. But if you've already got the observation badge, no, not really. I will plus you. Though I'll, I'll give you a little vote up. Okay. Remember, you can vote up and you can vote down on um, live chat. I can't stop that. Because I don't like the vote downs, because that's just for mean people. If you don't like it, don't read it. But anyhow, I will vote you up if you give me a correction on live chat. Okay. <laughs> hey, thank you, Marco. <laughs> that's cool. Thanks. It just keeps me going. You know, it's my lifeblood getting likes. <laughs> no, it's not. Anyway, if that was the case, I'd have given this up a long time ago. So um, I'm just going to look and see. I'm so happy that everything's working, you know, but I can't see any hands up to come and 
read. Otherwise, you're going to have me reading at you. And there's not much point of that, is there? Have you all got sore throats and coughs? I don't believe you. <laughs> Are you all at work? Get back to work. <laughs> I'll tell your boss. Um, but anyway, we last week we were discussing the um, orchestra. Okay, and classical music, and we didn't quite finish. So uh, I thought we could finish reading the text and then we're going to do a little quiz. Don't, don't scream, it's just fun. Okay, it's not a test. <laughs> so I'm going to invite Zom, who was first to put the hand up. And we've got somebody called Lida here as well. Now this is a squeaky pants moment, okay? This is fingers crossed everyone. I've invited Zom in and hopefully Zom will turn up. Uh, so <laughs> uh, Lida, as you're new, I will just send you um, some information, okay? Ignore my text there. And it's about how to join the webinar jam, okay? Now I've got to find it first. I've written it out already and I so I can cut and paste. Zom, hello, can you hear me? Can I hear you? Who, nope. who are you asking? Yay! <laughs> Zom! <laughs> you, Zom! Yes, <laughs> I can Zom. hear you. See, I got my name right as well. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> nice to hear your voice, Indy. Nice to hear your voice. It works. It's great. It's working, I know. Uh, I sent a very nice letter to Webinar Jam um, just to say, Thank you so much for your help. And um, if, in case this happens to somebody else, it's it's all down yeah, to yeah. VPN. And it is down to VPN. Don't ask why. April asked, how come this affects uh, attendees? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I figure these things out. But honestly, I have no idea how it all works. <laughs> I'm a user, not a programmer. Not anymore. <laughs> it's all beyond me now. But suffice to say, it's working. Whoopee. That's good. That's good. It's so good. So, Marco, I'm inviting you next. Let's see if Marco can join us too. And um, I mean, the, the, the downside is I'm not able to do any sort of um, uh, VPN. Um, yeah. I, I've had to dis I've had to basically take it away completely and dis um, uninstall it. Yeah, so it means I, I no longer have access to BBC iPlayer. But then some people might say I shouldn't have had access in Germany anyway. <laughs> Fair point. But I'm going to miss replays of Downton Abbey, aren't I? Honestly, uh -huh. Marco, Rima, can you hear me? Can I hear you? Rima. <gasps> Silence. <laughs> okay, I've got a one, one, one. Maybe he can't speak. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. hello. Wow. Good, good, good. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so we've got an invitation, um, a request to speak from somebody called Lida. Uh, Lida, um, you will have to introduce yourself here. Okay. It's like ringing on my doorbell, okay? I always look through the door to see who it is before I let anybody in. <laughs> so um, I can't actually see a post from you at the moment, Lida. Okay. And this happens a lot in the absolute beginners session. Um, you know, I have three or four people watching the session. They never say anything. It's weird. It's like, who are you? What are you doing here? Do you know why you're here? <laughs> but it's a voice coming from nowhere. Come on. <laughs> well, yeah, but you'd think, hi, you know, even if you're shy and you don't want to speak, just typing H-I, you know, that's it's good. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, April is also asking to join. Where's April gone? Where is she? Ah, there's April. Excellent. And uh, I will invite you, April. 
Okay, so Lida, I'm sending you um, some information. Okay. Um, it's private and um, I will set up that you can send me a private reply as well. Okay. And by the way, if I forget to set um, enable private responses, just remind me because I don't mind if people want to privately uh, send me an um, send me a request. So April, I'm inviting you in. Hopefully you will join us in a minute and we can get reading. And Timothy has asked to join us too. Timothy, I'm going to send you some information too. Okay. Now I'm doing this because um, getting into the call, there are requirements. Okay. So when you get that information and have read it, let me know. And then I'll send you the next bit of information. Okay. Um, but for now, we will start the reading. Okay. So Zom, you're up first. Are you okay to read? You're not at work. <laughs> well, I'm at work if I want to be at work. So let's say I'm talking okay. about it. <laughs> well, let's see if we can distract you from doing any work then. That's good. <laughs> um, April, can we hear you? Can you hear us? Um, Yay! The webinar can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's a good start to the week, isn't it? After a lousy end last week. So last week we were we were reading a little bit about um, the different sections of the orchestra and we finished, I think, with the conductor. And I mentioned that um, in the UK, part of the culture is there's lots of what they call amateur orchestras. Okay, so I thought we could read about amateur orchestras um, today. So, Zom, would you like to read the first one? All right. School orchestras. These orchestras consist of students from an elementary or secondary school. They may be students from a music class or program, or they may be drawn from the entire school body. School orchestras are typically led by a music teacher. And music teachers are typically also history teachers, geography teachers, or math teachers. <laughs> oh, <okay>. now, <laughs> I didn't want to write that down, but it's true. <laughs> so, Zom, were you ever the member of a school orchestra? Uh, I don't know, but when I was in um, secondary school, we had one hour of music class and it was not a history teacher or a geography teacher or whatsoever it was indeed um, uh, a music teacher that at the same time was working at the conservatory and uh, we all had one hour of music class uh, in secondary school for three four years and we had to play to to learn how to read the notation and uh, to play um, Oh, what do you call this instrument? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, you weren't uh, here last week. Wait, did you do the vocab challenge? No, no, I haven't done it. So. Oh, no. Let's see if uh, we can find it. Let's see um, if we can find it. Um, okay, was it any of these? Yes. Which uh, one? No, this one is. You have to learn the back uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> Not the clarinet, <laughs> not uh, <laughs> um, that one. That one? No, it's not there. It's not oh. there. So oh, it's a wind oh. instrument. Yeah, but uh, it's none of them. It's it's the one that everybody can play at first. The recorder. The recorder. What is the recorder? No the recorder. Let me see if I can find a. Um, let me see if I can get a Google window up. Hang on. Uh, the recorder. Ah, yes, a recorder. Mm. Yeah, er, er, it could be that. Uh, I'm going to get loads of stuff about um, newspapers now. But there, that one. Is that it? The that's it. Yeah. yeah. Recorder. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Actually, that's a very good point. I will definitely add those to the picture because you're right. And that's the, <laughs> the it makes a horrible <laughs> sound. Poor parents <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> Uh, for us as well, we had to learn this stuff. We didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And we Excellent. and we had a little music notebook where we had to draw at the same time 
it, it was much about listening to some music, classical music mostly, or sometimes jazz. And uh, we had to draw uh, on, on a notebook when we were listening to a specific piece of music, uh, the images that came through our minds, these kind of things, actually. Oh, that's nice. We never did that. We did lots of theory, not much. I, I learned to play the violin. I couldn't play a note. Oh, now. we had to sing as it's... well. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I think it's the reason why I'm not singing, I guess, now. <laughs> why I don't sing. Why I don't sing. I'm not singing now. Yes, that's true. You're talking. But that's maybe the reason I don't sing or I don't like singing. Yes, I think school has a lot to answer for on singing and art and just putting people off it, thinking they're no good at it. Everybody can sing. Just open your mouth and make a noise. That's singing. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> Okay. Um, April's asked a question that I cannot answer. Why is it called a recorder? I have no idea. Somebody decided they were going to call it the recorder. And Marco put a fife, yeah, with your musket, fife and drum. But the fife is more, um, goes sideways onto the mouth, I think. Or, and um, the recorder goes um, forward from the mouth. So I think it's slightly different, a fife. Military music, indeed, military music. Children hate to play the recorder. Do you know why? Because they're forced to. If you just yes. give them a load of musical instruments to play with, they will play. If you tell them you've got to play this and you've got to make these notes and you've got to read this music, they will hate it. So just let children play music and play with, and even if it's a terrible cacophony, don't put them off by making them musical straight away. They'll get there in the end. <laughs> but it's a bit like speaking English. Why do people hate speaking English? Because they were forced to do it rather than being allowed to play with it. <laughs> yeah, and we are all talkers. <laughs> so. That's it. Good. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Timothy, I have given you the second piece of the text. And as long as you're on your computer and you know what's go what to expect, I'm going to invite you in. Okay, Lida, I need to hear from you that you understand the first part of the text. Okay, <laughs> I know it's a bit complicated. This won't happen every week. Your first time, it's important you know what to expect. As an attendee, you can just come, listen, interact. It's great, it works very easy. As a presenter, you have other aspects that you need to go through, okay? So, Timothy, I'm going to invite you in, as promised. Bear with me. And we will cross our fingers for you, <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Hopefully see you on the other side. So, where are you? There you are. Okay. Okay, so um, nicely read anyway, Zom. Perfectly read. No Thank corrections. You. Very oh. good. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, Marco, are you able to read today, Rima? Oh, I mean, yeah. after you are, you know the... Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. you've got a bit yeah, of a longer yeah. one. It's just luck of the draw, this. So, there's your text, okay? Oh, I'm condemned to, to mistakes. <laughs> <One day>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, university or conser conservatory orchestras. These orchestras consist of students from a university or music conservatory. In some cases, university orchestras are open to all students from a university from all programs. Larger universities may have two or more university orchestras. One or more orchestras made, made up of music majors or for major music programs, several tires or tires of music major orchestras ranked by skill level and the second orchestra open to university students from all academic programs in example science business etc who have previous classical music experience on an orchestral instrument university and conservatory orchestras are led by a conductor who is typically a professor or instructor at the university or conservatory. Very good. Well done. Nicely read for a Monday. A couple of words <laughs> for you. Okay. First one, consist. It's soft S's, both of them, not consist, consist. Uh, consist. 
that's it. Yeah, just I know you don't like that. It's so tempting to go consist. And it's easier to say as well, but it's consist. OK, the next one is actually tears. Tears. Oh. Tears, like the tears in a cake. Layers. Yeah. How many tears are in this cake? How many layers? And it can also talk about hierarchy. You know, we've talked about hierarchy in business sessions. That's the different tiers of management, different levels of management. OK. And the last one, um, when you see EG, it actually means for example, not in example. For example. Oh, for example. Okay. For example. Okay, okay. Yay, that's it. Yeah, it's just, and that's what we read automatically. It's it's one of the most common, uh, actually, um, I, I'm not going to give you the Latin, but it's Latin. Exemplary. Latin, who wants that? Uh, but we just read it, for example, from like, six years old people know that it means for example okay it's in all the textbooks everything we don't even think about the latin um mean the latin words it actually stands for eg um but we just see for example when we read eg it's weird and we don't we don't often say eg sometimes people might but it is generally um for example okay Hello, Lida. Okay, and if you just, um, do you still want to join? Your hand is still up. I'll send you the second part of the text. I've got a message for Timothy. Timothy, can you hear us? Can we hear you? Okay, Timothy, um, your mic Hello. is on. Hello. Yay. Hello, everybody. Hello there. How are you? Hey, Hello, that sounds like an English good. voice. <laughs> Yes. It does, yeah. Have you been learning British English or are you a native speaker? Uh, I am a native speaker, yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what are you doing? You doing yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. You're welcome, but I'm not going to let you read, okay? I know you're no, but, see, but there's, there's a reason why I'm here. Okay, go on. Uh, the thing is that uh, I live in Poland right now. I've been living in Poland for a while, and I'm here to maintain my English uh, speaking skills. So I would be, um, I would love to read it. Thursday, Thursday, oh, come okay. on, Kai Klee on Thursday. <laughs> Pop around in Kai Klee on every Thursday evening. You might it's not know what Kai Klee uh, is, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what Kai Klee is. Could you please is. repeat? You you were being invited to come to Kitely on Thursdays. Don't worry, don't worry. It's a bit of enthusiasm. Okay, please um, do. You'll find as a as a native speaker, people will be very very happy to speak with you. Okay, so okay. do not worry about maintaining your English. Um, you will be hard pushed to speak anything other than English here. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your Polish going? <laughs> That's the big question. Well, I I am. Um... <laughs> I speak Polish also, so my generally my mom is Polish and my dad is American, so I'm kind of like a hybrid, you know. <laughs> okay, well I'm oh, 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 funny, you like hybrids here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. It's very nice to speak to you. Very Thank nice you. to have you. And I'm sure everybody will enjoy listening to you read. So I will add you to the reading list. Okay. Okay. I do so, appreciate that. No, no problems. We appreciate you being here. April though is next. April, are you ready to read? Uh, no, I'm afraid to, 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 to read because we are surrounded by two native speakers. <laughs> We're ganging up That's on right. you. Right. <laughs> Great opportunity. Come on. Exactly. Seize the moment. Carpe di is it Carpe diem? Yeah, something like that. I can never remember which is Carpe diem or uh, one of the other ones. I think Carpe diem might be Time Flies. Anyway, it doesn't matter. April, your text. Okay. One moment, because I have to copy and paste this. It's too small for me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, youth orchestras. These orchestras consist of teens and young adults drawn from an entire city or region. The age range in youth orchestras varies between different ensembles. ensembles. In some cases, youth orchestras may consist of teens 
or young adults from an entire country, for example, Canada's National Youth Orchestra. Community or orchestras typically consist, consist mainly of adult amateur musicians. Community orchestras range in level from beginner level, beginner, beginner level orchestras which rehears music without doing formal performances in front of an audience to intermediate level ensembles to advance amateur groups such as the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra which plays standard professional orchestra repertoire. Very good, <laughs> well done. I knew you'd like that last word, it's French. <laughs> Okay, nicely read. A few words for you. Uh, it's Monday. Come on, it's, it's got to warm up your English first. So the first one, region, a region. Region. Yeah, so it's like an area, a bigger area than your city, the whole region. Okay. And then varies, not var, varies. Uh, okay, varies. Yeah, we say variety, but varies. It's one of those weird um letter combinations that changes quite a bit, okay? Then national doesn't come from nation, okay? National. Uh, it's not national, national. Not national, it's national, nah. Nation, okay. yes, nation, unto nation and all that, but national, okay? Try it. National. That's it. And the last one, rehearse. A rehearse. Yeah, okay. not re, don't stress the re because it's a false prefix. It's not redo, it's not like, because a hearse is something you put a coffin in to go to a burial. So it's not rehearsing something. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from, actually. Interesting. But rehearse. So the stress is more on the hearse bit. Try it. Rehearse. Rehearse. It's better, but if you listen to the playback, you'll still hear you're just doing that little bit of stress on the re, like you're rehearsing something again, and that wouldn't, yeah, doesn't happen, doesn't happen. Okay, but well done, nicely done. Um, so, um, <laughs> Rima just tried to copy a word from my shared screen. <laughs> Seems that, that they didn't sleep properly. <laughs> I've done that before, especially when I'm sharing a screen in Kitely or uh, Second Life, and then I try and go to inventory and I realize, oh, that's my shared screen, not my actual screen. <laughs> what happens with my computer? <laughs> <laughs> You're going, it's not working, it's not working. <laughs> you see, I can do it, but I'm afraid you can't, <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, but the text is there, so if you want to copy it, um, it's all Creative Commons text, so feel free feel free okay so um i'm still waiting to hear from um leader that she and or he understands the sort of terms and conditions or can comply with being on a laptop or pc so leader let me know if um you're ready if you've read the text uh but timothy um are you ready to read sure i am Excellent. Good, good, good. Now I'm going to give you two bits, but read this first bit. Okay. And I'll put it on here as well. Okay. There you go. All right. In some cases, university or conservatory music students may also be members of community orchestras. While community orchestra members are mostly unpaid amateurs in some orchestras, a small number of professionals may be hired to act as principal players and section leaders. Very good, well done. So we've got this range of different amateur orchestras. Now, if you notice, Timothy, native speaker says amateur, okay? And I say amateur, but it's just that slight difference between American English and British English. Don't worry about it, okay? It's like um, university, and a lot of Americans will say university, or um, where was April's? Uh, community instead of community doesn't matter but uh, i noticed timothy you do say community and university yay well done <laughs> in fact when yes, you first spoke i thought you were british to be honest but now i can hear a little bit of american twang in your in your accent 
Yes, because I went to school in Poland, so I also uh, well the the English that I learned and and uh, that was I was learning at school in Poland was British English. So hey, excellent. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll have caught some of the American accent from your parents, I guess. Uh, yes, actually, my dad, my mom is Polish, so <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, nice mishmash. Perfect. International English. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, any questions about the text? Is there anything not, you're not certain of? Um, has any, have any of you actually played in a school or youth orchestra? I know one of you played in a band, but you might not want to. <laughs> <laughs> You've let yourself. <laughs> I was going to say you might not want to share that, but um... <laughs> so who played in a band? Come on, you've already giggled, and I recognise your laugh. Well, we don't have to tell everything online. Come on, <laughs> I, know, I know, but you laughed. I was going to say I know one of you played a band, but you don't have to share, and you laughed. I'm like Zom. Everybody will know it's you now. <laughs> Um, and I take it you didn't play the recorder in the band, though? No. <laughs> Which instrument did you play? Have we got it on our little... Um... No, you haven't got it. Ah, oh, another one we haven't got. Okay, I thought maybe it would be the French horn. That would be very um, quite fitting, really, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> do you still play a musical instrument? No, my brothers do. But actually, uh, when we were a kid, uh, my parents wanted us to to tackle the music, uh, uh, to be able to play a music instrument. So we, all of us, we we went to a musical school to to learn an instrument. Yeah, we so tend we not to say musical school. We tend to say music school. school. We went to music, music school. Oh, yeah. Music school. So, and when you start to play, of course, you, you, you've got uh, friends who plays music as well. And if you've got a friend around, of course, you gather all together and you play your own stuff all together. Uh, so that's it. But I'm not going, I'm not necessarily willing to talk about it this morning. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's, fine. that's good. It's all good. Um, if anybody's in, very interested in classical music and wants to discuss it or talk about it in the music session of the for, section of the forum, um, do an at to a matsu because she's far more knowledgeable about me uh, than, than I am about um, classical music, especially. I, I'm more your gigging pop music, indie, uh, punk <laughs> kind of music person. <laughs> but Amatsu is played in uh, national orchestras, so not just school orchestras. So, wow. And she plays more than one instrument as well. There you go. She won't mind me telling you. She won't mind me telling you. Okay, so April can't even play harmonica. Oh, April. <laughs> what about um, the comb? You know, you put a bit of um, tissue paper over a comb and blow through it. Anybody can play that. <laughs> the triangle. <laughs> and you're tone deaf, shiny. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> okay. Um, Rima's not letting... No, Rima's not telling us whether... He's just laughing at everybody else, but not saying... Rima, have you ever played a musical instrument? Do you play guitar or do you sing? <laughs> only... Only... Uh, only when I'm listening to something and I know the the text from this song, but not 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 uh, knowing the school band, not even in. But uh, I don't know. I think that it's because I I can't find the difference between a five and a, 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 rec uh, a recording or how did you say that instrument with uh, which Zom played in. In oh, a five or recorder, recorder. Is that is is the the same or slightly different between? Different, very different. Oh, different. Um, let me just see if I can show you. Um, let's just do a quick close that down. Close that down. Um, okay, playing. Oh, can't. I play in a fife. I'm not going to look at YouTube. Okay, look at images. There you are. So that's a fife. Um, that's what I was trying to describe, how it goes sideways to your mouth. Okay. So and that's a record. Five, 
That's mm-hmm. the five, yes. Oh, With yeah, your musket, yeah. pipe and drum. And if you look at a recorder, it goes straight out there. That's the <laughs> classic, isn't it? <laughs> Just like classic. Oh, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> that brings back memories. Not all good. <laughs> I had that instrument. Actually, I think that yeah. it's still <laughs> it's something time. around, <laughs> somewhere around, but I don't know where. And I, I just uh, tried to not to play because I didn't know the notes or uh, the notions, but I just uh, blow in it. And so, so <laughs> it was kind of do. music was <laughs> disturbed my parents. <laughs> well, I, I do feel for parents. I think that, I think every house should be built with a, a, a soundproofed room so that children can go and play them, practice their musical instruments until they're good enough to listen to. <laughs> but I think it's very important also to find some kind of appreciation of music. It doesn't matter what. Yeah, rock music is music. Um, a- any kind of music. I think it's one of the common threads we have in human history is making music together it brings people together it really does and uh, i love it timothy what about you you're being very quiet do you play a musical instrument actually i used to um i went to music school for like uh, eight years i think i played the piano but i i don't do it anymore just from time to time when i um get some notes (laughs) and uh and find myself near a uh, piano or keyboard. Okay, so uh, yeah, once you've learned the piano, you can play the keyboard. So uh, when you can play the keyboard, you can play any musical instrument that happens to be recorded in the keyboard. Cool, cool. It always interests me when people say, I used to, and I don't anymore. Start again, start again. (laughs) Don't let it die. It's in you, it needs to be let out. Well, and yeah, take that as inspiration. You can play to you can play for us one of these in a session one day, maybe. <laughs> uh, we'll just go to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. Record yourself. Let share the YouTube video with us. We've got actually two musicians who record who record stuff. Some of it in Russian. <laughs> we don't understand a word, but it's always nice when they share that when they share their recordings. It's cool. <laughs> And we had one classical pianist as well, um, but she was a little shy for live conversation. But she shared some of her YouTube videos. She was very good, I have to say, very good. I keep telling Amatsu she should record herself, but she will not. She's like me about video, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so, um, Timothy, I promised you I'd get you to read something else. Um, any questions about orchestras and school orchestras? What's the difference between a national and a... Um, I mean, do any of you go to classical concerts? Do you have national orchestra? I mean, I know Poland's got very famous national orchestra. Of course, the UK has got the Philharmonic Orchestra and tons of youth orchestras around the country. Um, what about France? Do you have a French Philharmonic, Zom? Uh, yeah, yeah. We have got a... Uh, mm, huge... Philharmonic. Yeah. Mm-mm. And there is huge also... Huge history of music. Yeah, there is... <laughs> history of music and the great things like in Spain as well uh, you can attend when they rehearse for free uh, oh, nice. few, not not the national one but you have got the Radio France uh, orchestra as well which is linked to um, classical music on one of the national radio and they um, they play a lot and you can attend when the rears for events uh, for free. So you have to book in advance uh, because, of course, uh, a lot of people want to, to to join and to be part of the audience. And it's kind of fantastic experience just to learn, um, well, to see an, orchest- an orchestra for for real, the positions of the different instruments uh, and and the conductor as well. And it uh, it helps you to discover all kinds of music because it's not just only classical music. They play a little bit of everything, even if it's mostly classical music. So yes, we've got a strong, music is uh, quite strong uh, in France. Yeah, interesting. And of course you've got the radio, your French radio, did you call it? French radio orchestra? Uh, We've got the uh, BBC orchestra and they're huge. Yeah, And, and there's a, 
tour Indeed, going on I... at the moment of film music because you think you know, April last week asked about um, current classical music you know are there any composers living of course film music yeah mm -hmm. it has to be written by somebody but quite often now it's more commercial than in the well, I don't know. They still had to eat and uh, drink in the past. So they wrote for concerts. Now composers write for film scores. So there's a lot of classical music out there. And you'll recognise some of it, but you'll think, oh, yes, 2001 A Space Odyssey instead of <laughs> Rachmaninoff. <laughs> you associate it with the film. But do too, they invite, uh, usually the they invite conductors or special artists from another part of the world, world that will stay for six months up to one year to be part of the orchestra as uh, the guest star and to play uh, to play their music or to conduct uh, their own music, which is great. So it's also a mean to exchange uh, different kind of music in between countries and link countries together through through music. It's what makes it very interesting, I think. Yeah, I, so really, I love yeah. musicians generally, even though I'm not particularly musical myself. I mean, I could scrape out a few things on the school orchestra the, on the violin. Um, you could normally tell my violining because my, um, my vibrato was not very good, <laughs> as my music teacher used to tell me. <laughs> vibrato, vibrato. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. I've only got little hands. I'm a bit like Trump, little hands. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Little hands, I do sympathise with him for that. But I tried guitar as well. Complete catastrophe. <laughs> total, total mess. Couldn't do it. But I have got a keyboard and I like bashing out a few things on the keyboard. But um, I've only got a very restricted keyboard. It's only got about 15 keys, not a full keyboard. I had to sell my old keyboard. But I like the drums. I like electronic drums. And I can bang out a tune on anything um, because I've got a very good ear for music, but I can't sight read. If you know what sight reading is, that's reading the notes mm -mm. of music. But when I hear a tune, I've got it. It's like in my head and I can repeat it in oh. 10 years time. Weird. It's a great skill. <laughs> well, it's a bit useless actually, but okay. <laughs> Never going to be rich. Okay. So another little bit of text for Timothy to read. Now, this is going to be a game. I'm going to do a little quiz for the last 10 minutes of the session. I'm going to give you some information about famous composers and you've got to guess who it is. You can Google. There is no cheating. I, I think Google's great, uh, but I'm not going to give you much information unless you ask for it. I'm going to give you one piece of information to start with and we'll talk about the kind of music they wrote as well. And then you've got to ask me things that will give you more information. For example, what nationality? And sadly, it's going to be mostly what nationality is he? Okay. And you can also say, was he? You can ask, when was he born? Okay. You can ask, when did he die? Okay. You can ask, where was he born? And you can ask, what did he write? So it's a he? <laughs> Yeah, No, honestly, it's awful. I was really trying hard to find a famous composer, female, that everybody would have heard of. They're so obscure and I don't think people would have heard of them. So I just stuck to the men, I'm afraid. Uh, sorry, ladies, but I suppose back then when classical music was at its height of popularity, yeah. We were having babies, I guess. So we didn't have time to fiddle around on the piano. <laughs> okay, so the first bit of text uh, coming up. Sorry. <laughs> um, Timothy, if you could read this piece of text. Sure. Organist, composer, violin, violist, and violinist is widely regarded as one of the best classical composers of all times. Yeah, that's a oh. big one. Anybody got a clue yet? So he's got a lot of skills. Um, let me t type it up. Oh, good. It does say via violist. Okay. There's the viola. I'm not sure if it's violaist, but I think it's violist and violinist. So playing the viola and the violin. 
Uh, remember, the viola is the smaller, it's like the, the, the baby, baby sister of the violin. Um, also a composer and an organist. Does everybody know what an organist plays? The organ. <laughs> the organ, exactly. That's sort of like often heard in church music. Do, 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 kind of thing, but it's not that composer. Okay, don't. That wasn't a clue. Um, I can give you a little bit more information, Timothy, if you could. Oh no, let me close some text files down because. Uh, Shiny tries with Bach. So he's dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Okay. Um, okay. So Timothy, if you could read this bit as well. He wrote over. 1100 compositions, which include cantatas, songs, and arias, chorales, passions, and oratorios, organ works, works for harpsichord, concerto, concerto, concertos. Uh -oh. I'm going to be ever so mean. I'm going to actually correct you here. Concertos. Okay. Oh, okay. Arias. Con concertos. Okay. And chorals. You see, I know this because I had to study music so concertos don't ask me why it's concerto there's no h in there but it just is okay so any clues anybody got any clues yet michel corette <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> not even close <laughs> so ask me some questions <laughs> oh, hang on. Shiny's got it. It's Shiny, back. well done. <laughs> Woohoo! Shiny. Shiny. Well Shiny. It's actually Johann Sebastian Bach. Okay. Okay. So he was born in 1685, died in 1750. Does anybody know what nationality he was? Uh, from Austria, no? Austri Austria. Not Austria, no. Oh. Close. German. Wasn't He's German? German. Yeah, he was born in Germany. He was German. Yeah. And does anybody know one of his most famous, any of his famous works? I think it was uh, something like Eine Kleine Nachtmusik or something like that. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> I don't think he did. Oh, maybe he did. Hang on. I don't think he did, though. Um, let me just check. I'm going to have to check that before I make any due to myself. Um, oh, that was by um, Mozart. Yeah, I thought it was, but I'm having to check. Because, yeah, it was Mozart, yeah. <laughs> you never know, it might crop up. Um, I'm actually thinking of, there was the Brandenburg concertos, and the very funnily one, air on a g-string which always makes people laugh and if you want to know why check what a g-string is in urban dictionary okay but in this case it's the g-string of the violin of course <laughs> uh fugue fugue in d minor and arioso and that's just a few of them so pretty famous in his day and even today he's widely played um all over the world okay is it toccata toccata, toccata. Takata, Takata. <laughs> Sounds almost Japanese, doesn't it? <laughs> now, all of these, you will be able to find all of these um, online and you'll be able to listen to them on YouTube. Um, so if you just go to YouTube and type in Takata and Fugue in D minor, okay? Takata is just a keyboard, um, piece of I music do. for the keyboard. And you'll find them all online on YouTube. That's the great thing about classical music. Um, it's out of copyright because <laughs> they all died in like 1600, 1700, 1800. <laughs> so, now, not that, not that the recordings aren't out of copyright, but a lot of orchestras um, will put their recordings on YouTube without any sort of demands for payment by YouTube, etc. That's reserved for greedy little pop musicians. <laughs> okay, so Zom, would you like to read the next one? Okay, you have no news from Lida? No, I've not heard right. back. I've not heard oh. back. And, so I am uh, keeping okay. an eye open. I've got the admin window open. Um, All right. But yeah, 
I, I'm afraid you do have to say, yes, I've read and understand I'm ready. Even if it's in a private message, um, I'll accept a private message. But I, unless you do say that, I'll presume you're on your tablet or your smartphone. And as we all know, it won't work. <laughs> okay, so you're ready to read? Good. Hang on, I've just lost my text. <laughs> Uh, I want to make sure I give you the right text, otherwise I'll give you the answer. So, let's see. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. That, we are still in the quiz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still quizzing. Oh, okay. yes. Um, oh, no. See, I told you I was and going to put the five. wrong bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. He was a child prodigy and composed more than 600 works in all music genres known in this in his time very good genres Genre. music genres. genres when we're talking about genres in film when we're talking about you should know this one because we borrowed it <laughs> <laughs> well, but well done for prodigy well done a child prodigy so this is mozart yeah it was too easy wasn't it <laughs> So you should say child prodigy. And yes, he was very famous. Um, so if you'd like to read the little interesting fact song. Mm -hmm. At the age of five, he mastered keyboard and violin and entertained the social uh, elites, including royalty throughout Europe. Five years old. Can you imagine? And that's what a child prodigy is. And there are still child prodigies out there. And you, again, you find them often on YouTube with their mothers and fathers behind. Usually the mums going, go on, play, play. <laughs> Pushy parents. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty amazing. Does anybody know what nationality he was? Uh, no, I don't remember. Again, Austrian or German. He was Austrian. That he was Austrian. <laughs> yes, well done. <laughs> Does anybody know uh, any of his widely performed works? Hey, Zom, if you'd like to read it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Some of his most famous and most widely performed works include Requiem, Symphony Number no. Forty, Piano Sonata Number no. Sixteen in C Major. Symphony number 25, Piano Concerto number 21, and Piano Sonata number 11. Movement 3, Turkish March. He also wrote operas such as The Magic Flute and The Marriage of Figaro. Figaro, Figaro. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Fortunatissimo, Fortunatissimo. La la la, Figaro, la la la, Figaro, la 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 la. I'm going to get banned by YouTube again. <laughs> I'm sure the I love I love the marriage of Figaro. The magic flute, nah, not so much. <laughs> okay, and again, if you listen to some of these um, musical pieces, you'll recognise them quite often from adverts. <laughs> That's true. It's true. Yeah, it's, a lot of classical know. music has been put on, especially car adverts. They seem to love classical music. <laughs> Okay, very good. Nicely read. Just the one thing, um, the marriage of Figaro, uh, not marriage, marriage. Marriage. Yes, marriage. that's it. The marriage of Figaro. Well done. Okay. Um, Shiny, I'm listening to his work. I knew that, but did not know he wrote it. Yeah, this is the thing. Quite often with classical music, we do know it. But if somebody said to you, oh, who composed it? What is it called? I mean, come on. They weren't very good at um, coming up with anything really creative, were they? Sonata number 16, Symphony number 25, Piano Concerto number 21, number 11, number 40. They sound like buses. <laughs> I mean, you think they'd come up with something more. What bus do I have to catch? I know. They must have got really bored, you know. Oh, God, which one, which one is this now? Oh, it's number 40. Okay, Symphony number 40. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, um, if everybody's happy, we will stop there for this session. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to put some more of these. Uh, I'm going to put together a little game about famous composers and I'll share it. It's our next game on the website. Okay. So I will share it with you all. It gets more difficult, but I didn't want to... Um, sort of have you all trying to guess obscure people. And I'll see if I can find some fe female composers uh, out there. Gosh, it's so embarrassing as a 
female member of the species. I'm sure women must have been writing good music, you know. <laughs> Just didn't get played, I guess. Oh, dear. Anyway, um, we'll be in Kitely in... 25 minutes. I'm going to go and make my coffee now. If there are any questions, Lida, if you didn't understand how this works, get in touch with me on the forum and I can um, explain it a bit more. I'm putting together a little explanation video as well for people because I think sometimes people come and they think they can just talk straight away and you can't. You do have to come in and you do have to be uh, you do have to meet certain requirements, but you're more than welcome to come anytime to listen and interact the way that Shiny did today. Um, but uh, to speak, yes, you need to have a few things in place first, a little app on your computer. You need to use the right software, um, the right browser helps and the right kind of platform, PC or laptop. OK, so I'm sorry we didn't get to speak to you. Maybe next time. Timothy, thank you very much for joining us. And Zom, Rima, April, pleasure as always. Shiny, I hope you can read in the session coming in Kitely. I hope you can read this week. I hope you're still not coughing. But, um, you didn't send the answer. Oh, yes. OK, guys. Yes, I'm sorry. I forgot the um, radio quiz. It has been solved. Yeah, we do have a winner. Oh, and um, I haven't gone through all your answers yet, but I am accepting actually three answers because one person said growing up, which I hadn't had in my mind, but it fits. And the answer I was looking for, the single answer was aging. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was. A, I, I, uh, uh, you got it. Uh, you, you got it. Do remember. Right? And the, the, yes, the same. <laughs> aging. Okay. The phrasal verb was growing old. To grow old. Grow, okay. Grow but I'm accepting to grow up as well because I thought I thought of it first week, but I didn't want to post aging. <laughs> Don't like that word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you post it, that's it, it's locked. So I, I did like your post when you said, I'm locking in <laughs> aging. So well done, well done. Um, as usual, I'll put all the words, all the names together and I'll do a draw and I'll announce the winner next week. Um, by the way, Rima, you, you do have a, I think you've got a, you've got a, a session to book and you haven't booked it yet. Actually, um, two, I have two. Oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm> not... <laughs> no, it's in the video. This is English stuff, but um, yes, well done. Congratulations. So it'll be back to a word game tomorrow. All right. It might not be Riddle Me Re. Okay. Oh. I know. I'm just trying to work out the rules in my head at the moment. I've got the words, but um, it'll be multiple words but it might not be Riddle Me Re, okay? Something a bit different. We've okay. only got a month. We've only got a month to go of English radio, I think. So um, okay, let's make right. the most of it, okay? <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> oh, never mind, Shiny. Never mind. Excellent. Yeah, Timothy, any time, any time. Um, these sessions are open as long as you register. Yeah, pop along. Can't always promise you'll be able to speak, but generally there's enough room. Uh, we sometimes, what I call swipsy swapsy speakers around. So, you know, one person reads and then they can leave and the next person comes in. But as long as your computer works, you're absolutely welcome to join us anytime. And it's nice to have another native speaker here as well. It's good. <laughs> Keeps them on their toes, you know. <laughs> Great, it's, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure, really. And uh, I feel that there are areas that I need to improve and, you know, some, there are some areas that are they're a little bit rusty. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great uh, opportunity. Well, as I, as I live in Germany, I appreciate exactly what you're going through because I have to work really hard to keep my English up to date and current, you know, so I do, I do <laughs> yeah. understand. Like so I don't start coming in and say, <laughs> Oh, Morgan, <laughs> From what century? <laughs> Which century? <laughs> hey, no, I'll, I'll always be um, a little old fashioned. I'm an old fashioned girl. <laughs> but I keep up to date with all the latest slang. It just sounds ridiculous when I say it. All right, laters. <laughs> Take care, everybody. I'll see some of you in Kitely in a bit. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.